Nought loves another as itself, nor venerates another so, nor is it possible to thought a greater than itself to know. And father, how can I love you or any of my brothers more? I love you like the little bird that picks up crumbs around the door. The priest sat by and heard the child, in trembling zeal he seized his hair. He led him by his little coat, and all admired his priestly care. And standing on the altar high, lo, what a fiend is here, said he, one who sets reason up for judge of our most holy mystery. The weeping child could not be heard, the weeping parents wept in vain. They stripped him to his little shirt, and bound him in an iron chain, and burned him in a holy place where many had been burnt before. The weeping parents wept in vain. Are such things done on Albion's shore? In each stanza, line two and four of the poem rhyme. They use those iambic tetrameter regularly to suggest questions presented are not to be answered. Instead, they use to emphasise corruption. The vulnerability of the child is emphasised by the repetition of little. Iron chain also shows it's bound and constricted. Similar to Webster, Blake highlights the corruption in the church. In The White Devil, Webster uses the Catholic Church to highlight the corru its corruption and how it prevented people from expression. Another idea that can be examined is looking at this in a Marxist way, in the way that people in power are corrupting the lower class and exploiting them, which can be seen in The White Devil by the use of Latin to remove the lower class from understanding what's happening. This links to Blake's idea of the church and corruption. Although he was technically a Christian and he did believe in God, he hated the establishment of the church. England at the time was Protestant, and this may have affected Blake's views as he especially hated the Catholic church. Catholics believe more in authority of the priesthood, whereas in the Protestant branch of Christianity, they believe in the immediate contact of the individual with God, irrespective of priestly intercession. So each individual is more important rather than having one central authority figure. A little girl lost. Children of the future age, reading this indignant page, know that in a former time, love, sweet love, was fought a crime. In the age of gold, free from winter's cold, youth and maiden bright to the holy light, naked in the sunny beams delight. Once the youthful pair, filled with softest care, met in garden bright, where the holy light had just removed the curtains of the night. There, in rising day, on the grassy play, parents were afar, strangers came not near, and the maiden soon forgot her fear. Tired with kisses sweet, they agree to meet, when the silent sleep waves over heaven's deep, and the weary tide wanderers weep. To her father white came the maiden bright, but his loving look, like the holy book, all her tender limbs with terror shook. On thy pale and weak, to thy father speak, O the trembling fear, O the dismal care, that shakes the blossoms of my hoary hair. Blake uses contrasting imagery of both dark and light, which highlights the conflict in moral standards. He also uses an irregular metre with different syllables. The rhyme scheme is A-A-B-B in the first stanza, and A-A-B-B-B -B -B in all the others, except for the fifth stanza, which has a structure of A, 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 A. This emphasises natural speech and tone. Webster highlights the danger of women expressing their sexuality, which is seen in Victoria's character, especially in her arraignment scene and the church's attitude towards her. Like Webster, Blake highlights events in his own time through presenting them in another way. Here, Blake presents a lack of morality and some corruption through the father's treatment towards his daughter and refusing for love. The beginning scene of the poem is a play on the Garden of Eden, which symbolises the young lovers. Um, it shows Blake's opinion of marriage. He believes it to be just a tool of organised religion, therefore impeding on true human nature, and he sees it as something wrong. Um, he's also attacking the stringent moral standards of society in the girl's attempt to express her sexuality. As with the last poem, he could be seen as attacking the church.